हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर्स ऑन थ्योरी ऑफ ऑटोमेट एंड कंप्यूटेशन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू डीएफए एंड एनएफए नाउ ओवर हियर डीएफए स्टैंड्स फॉर डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा एंड एन एफ ए स्टैंड फॉर नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा नाउ एज द नेम सुजेस्ट डिटर्मिनिस्टिक एंड नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक दैट डिटर्मिनिस्टिक मीन्स दैट द थिंग्स विच कैन बी यूनिकली डिटरमाइंड और आइडेंटिफाइड एंड नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक मीन्स दैट द थिंग्स विच कैन नॉट बी यूनिकली डिटरमाइंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द डिटर्मिनेट डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा विल बी अ फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा इन विच द नेक्स्ट स्टेट कैन बी यूनिकली डिटरमाइंड फ्रॉम अ गिवन पर्टिकुलर स्टेट विद द पर्टिकुलर इनपुट एल्फाबेट एंड नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा मीन्स दैट द नेक्स्ट स्टेट कैन नॉट बी यूनिकली डिटरमाइंड फ्रॉम अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेट विद द पर्टिकुलर इनपुट एल्फाबेट नाउ वॉट डज इट मीन्स एक्चुअली इन केस ऑफ डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा फ्रॉम वन स्टेट विद वन इनपुट एल्फाबेट वी आर हैविंग एग्जैक्टली वन नेक्स्ट स्टेट फॉर ऑल द गिवन स्टेट एंड फॉर ऑल द गिवन इनपुट एल्फाबेट्स so that will become the deterministic finite automata clear non deterministic finite automata means that from a particular state with a particular input alphabet we may have more than one next state now if a finite automata is given to us and we look for all the states with all the input alphabets if we will get more than one next state in that case we will declare that automata as a non deterministic finite automata otherwise the automata will be the deterministic finite automata clear let us look at some example so that the concept will be more clear to you for example if i am having a state q not and the transitions are like q1 and q2 clear now over here if we look at q not with input alphabet a the next state is q1 what does it means from a particular state with the particular input alphabet we are having only one next state now we look at q1 q1 with a is q2 now in this case as well from a particular state with the particular input alphabet we are having only one next state fine there are no other transition to look upon so we declare this automata as a dfa that is deterministic finite automata clear that from every state for all the input alphabets yeah for all the transitions given over here we are having exactly one next state clear so that means it is a dfa now for example if this one is the given finite automata now again we will see q not with a is q1 that is particular state with the particular input alphabet we are having only one next state q1 with a is q1 and q1 with a is q2 now in this case for particular state with a particular input alphabet we are having more than one next state that is q1 and q2 so the next state cannot be uniquely determined by the machine that whether with a coming to q1 with input alphabet a it will go to next state at the q1 or the q2 so we will declare this finite automata as a nfa that is non deterministic finite automata clear yeah. let us look at some more examples for example if this one is the given fa fine now we will again look that whether it is a nfa or a dfa we start from the initial state and look for all the transitions q not with a is q2 fine so one particular state one particular input alphabet then only one next state q not with b is q1 one state one input alphabet and only one next state now we will traverse q1 q1 with a is q3 
वन स्टेट वन इनपुट एल्फाबेट ओनली वन नेक्स्ट स्टेट Q1 वन विद बी इज क्यू टू सो वन स्टेट वन इनपुट एल्फाबेट ओनली वन नेक्स्ट स्टेट इफ वी लुक एट क्यू टू अगेन क्यू टू विद ए इज क्यू थ्री फाइन इट इज ऑल्सो यूनिक क्यू टू विद बी नो ट्रांजेक्शन एग्जिस्ट क्यू थ्री विद ए इज क्यू थ्री एंड क्यू थ्री विद ए इज क्यू वन फाइन सो दैट मीन्स इन दिस केस क्यू थ्री हैव मोर देन one next state for input alphabet a for a single input alphabet a so that means we declare this transition graph or a given finite automata as a non deterministic finite automata because in this finite automata for q3 with input alphabet a more than one next state exist clear so that is why we declare this as a nfa there is one more method to find out that whether that this is a nfa or a dfa clear so what we'll do we'll draw transition transition table equivalent to the given graph so we will write all the states q0 q1 q2 and q3 the final state is q3 so we will mark a strip input alphabets given are a and b fine now we will write the transition q0 with a is Q2, Q0 with B is Q1, Q1 with A is Q3, Q1 with B Q2 is given, Q2 with A Q3, Q2 with B no transition, Q3 with A it is Q3 comma Q1 and Q3 with B no transition is given. Fine. So if this one is the given. diagram and this one if we we have uh, written a transition table equivalent to it so now we will look at the next state columns if in any of the column more than one next state exists so we declare that fa as a non deterministic finite automata clear you can see over here with q3 with a is q3 comma q1 so more than one next state so we will declare this one as a nfa fine another example for a dfa if we are having automata like this qa with 0 qb with 1 and we are having qc with 0 with 1 and with 1 clubs suppose if we are having such graph given we will draw the transition table now over here the input alphabets and are 0 and 1 given states are qa qb qc qa is the initial state qc is the final states final state and the transition given are qa with 0 is qb qa with 1 is qc qb with 1 is qc qb with 0 no transition is given qc with 0 is qb and qc with 1 is qa clear now in this table if we look upon to the next state columns we can see that in all the cells we are having only one next state so the given uh, finite automata will be a dfa that is the deterministic finite automata i hope that the difference between the nfa and the dfa is clear to you and we can look from the table as well and we can judge from the transition diagram given as well that whether it is a nfa or a dfa fine now the formal definitions of ndfa and dfa from the examination point of view it is defined by five tuples dfa is equals to q sigma delta q not comma f ndfa is also defined by five tuples q sigma delta q not comma f clear now we all know that these are the parts of fa types of fa so all the tuples will be almost same the difference will lie only in the delta that is the transition how they are giving you the next state depending on the input uh, current input alphabet and the present state clear now if we talk about over here q it is the finite non empty set of all the states sigma finite non empty set of input alphabets q0 will be the initial state and q0 
belongs to capital Q that we can have only one initial state capital F set of final states and it is a subset of Q that means we can have more than one final state and delta over here can be defined as Q cross sigma into capital Q what does it means one state one input alphabet and only one next state clear if we talk about non-deterministic finite automata in this case capital Q finite non-empty set of states like this sigma finite non-empty set of input alphabets similarly as DFA and FA Q0 is the initial state and Q0 will belongs to capital Q what does it means that we can have only one initial state capital F is a set of final states and F is a subset of capital Q it implies that there can be more than one final state over here delta is defined as Q cross sigma into 2 raised to the power Q now what does it means that one present state with one input alphabet we can have more than one next state that is the 2 raised to the power Q this implies over here the power set of Q this is just a general notation as of now you, you people should understand that a single state a single input alphabet and we can have more than one next state as this implies a power state so this is the upper limit on the number of states that we can have clear so I hope that uh, the, again the differences between the DFA and NFA is clear to you first difference we can write that in case of DFA all the states can be uniquely determined in case of NDFA all the states cannot be uniquely determined the second difference is here that for one particular state and with one particular alphabet we can have only one next state in case of a DFA and in case of NFA for one from one particular state with one particular in input alphabet we can have more than one next state clear the third difference as of we write on the five tuples and spe specifically uh, signify or emphasizes only on the delta and fourth at the fourth point we can write the example or we can draw the transition table or the transition graph fine so i hope that this topic is clear to you and for any further query or information on the given topic if you have any doubts anything you can write down uh, in the comments below or can email to us we'll definitely reply to you as soon as possible thank you